All right, in this lesson, we're proving triangles similar using the angle-angle similarity theorem. So let's take a look at angle-angle similarity. So that's basically if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. So as an example, if S and M are congruent, so let's say both S and M are 45 degrees, and R and L are both 55 degrees, then we can conclude that the two triangles are similar using the angle-angle similarity postulate. Let's take a look at these two examples here. The first one, we see that we have parallel lines, and we know that they are parallel because they have these marks right here. So we can say that CD and FG are parallel. So remember, whenever you have parallel lines, you can automatically think about alternate interior angles, exterior angles, corresponding angles. You can always think about those angle pairs. All right. So now since these two lines are parallel, we can conclude that um, this angle and this angle right here are congruent because CG would be the transversal. I'm trying to draw a straight line, but I cannot. So CG is the transversal, and that will make these two angles here alternate interior angles. And also these angles right here, so FEG and CED are both congruent as well because they are vertical angles. All right, and so since we've shown that two angles are congruent to two angles in another triangle, we can conclude that yes, these triangles are similar. Similarity statement could be DEC or triangle D, let's say DCE is similar to triangle F. GE. Remember, corresponding angles or the congruent angles need to be in the same position for your similarity statement. Let's take a look at example two right here. Again, we have parallel lines, right? So we can conclude that LN would be a transversal as well as um, ML. So let's just take a look at LN. If I extend this, if I extend this line here, these two lines, we can see that um, these angles here and here are congruent because they are corresponding angles. Okay, so they're in the same position. They're underneath the parallel lines and they're to the left of the transversal. So since we have two pair of corresponding angles and well, one pair so far. And then right here, ML is a transversal. So we can conclude that uh, these two angles are congruent as well. So two angles and each triangle are congruent. We can conclude that yes, they are congruent using the AAA similarity. A statement that we could write would be triangle QLP is similar similar to triangle MLN. All right, so I would like for you to try this problem on your own and ask are the two triangles similar and how do you know? So go ahead and pause the video and try to see if you can prove that these two triangles are similar. So let's see if you got the problems correct or this problem correct. Um, R and V, those angles are both congruent because they measure 45 degrees. Um, these two angles here are vertical angles, so they are congruent. And so, yes, these two triangles are congruent by the AAA postulate. So I hope you got that correct. Let's take a look at this proof here involving the angle-angle uh, theorem, similarity theorem. So we're given that uh, MN is parallel to JL. So let's go ahead and write that in. Our first statement is given. MN is parallel to JL. That is given. And I'm going to go ahead and write some congruence marks here. So MN, we're not congruence marks, parallel marks. So remember, automatically you can 
If you see parallel lines, you can start thinking of your angle pairs, um, corresponding, alternate interior, and so forth. All right, so since these angles or these lines are parallel, do we have any congruent angles? So, yes, because KL would be uh, a transversal, all right? So KNM would be congruent to KLJ because they are corresponding angles. So we can write that in. Angle K N M is congruent to angle K L J because they are corresponding angles. All right, and then we could also conclude that KMN is congruent to KJL because, again, these two lines are parallel, so angle uh, KMN is congruent to angle K, J, L. All right. And again, those are corresponding angles as well. And so since we have a pair of congruent angles in each of these triangles, we could say that triangle J, K, L, is similar to triangle MKN because of the AAA similarity postulate. All right, so we have a proof here that I would like for you to try on your own uh, using the angle-angle similarity theorem. So try to fill in numbers 2, 4, 5 in the statements and 3 and 6 in the reasons. So go ahead and pause the video and try this proof on your own. All right, so for number two here, you should have mentioned that these two triangles um, are is isosceles, meaning they have two congruent sides. Um, for number four, F and J are congruent, and that is given. H and L are also congruent by the transitive property, and therefore, um, these two triangles are congruent by the AA postulate. All right, so we reached the end of this lesson. I want to thank you for learning with me. Some related videos are similar polygons, side, 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 and side, angle, side, similarity, as well as the triangle proportionality theorem. If you haven't already, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And once again, I want to thank you for learning with me.